Good day future teachers! Ito ay part 2 ng series of video tutorials as a reviewer nyo ano, for let specifically general education mathematics. Okay, let's get started. Question number 1. A courier delivered a product that weighs 668 pounds. The weight was computed into kilogram. Find the weight in kilogram. Okay, so this is conversion no? from pounds to kilogram. Remember this, na yung 1 pound, okay, pag makita kayo ng LB, it means pound, no? 1 pound is equal to 0 0.454 kilograms. This is just approximation. Approximation lang yan, no? So, and 1 kilogram is equal to 2.205 pounds. Again, this is also approximate. So, therefore, if we want to convert 668 pounds, gagawin natin kilogram, we just multiply, or 668 times, gagawin natin siyang kilogram, 0 0.454. Okay? Ganun lang siya. So, if we multiply that, ang magiging sagot natin ay 303.272. Okay? As you can see, wala yan sa ating choices. Okay? Itong 303.272, ito yung result nung minultiply natin sa 0 0.454, which is approximate. But actually, yung 1 pound is 0 0.453 something yan. So, in-approximate lang natin kasi... Mahirap naman i-multiply, no? Yung maraming decimal places. So, 303.272 yung ating result. So, tingnan na lang natin kung ano yung pinakamalapit dyan. Of course, that is 303. Okay? Masyado nang malayo ito. So, therefore, our answer is letter B. That is 303. Now, if we convert naman from kilogram to pound, so, i-multiply mo naman yan sa 2.2. 05. Okay? So, our answer is letter B. Next, let's simplify this one. Let's start with this one, yung 5 squared, no? So, 5 squared is the same with 5 times 5, so that is 25. Okay, you copy the operation minus. Now, 2 cubed, ibig sabihin 2 times 2 times 2. You multiply 2 tatlong beses. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2, that's 8. Okay, you copy this one, plus. Okay, now, negative 3 squared, ibig sabihin, multiply natin yung negative 3 dalawang beses. So, negative 3 times negative, negative 3. So, negative times negative, that's positive. So, positive 9, plus. Okay, now, kung mapapansin nyo dito, yung ating square ay nasa loob, okay? Ibig sabihin niyan na yung kanyang nire-raise lamang niya ay yung 3. Yung 3 lang. Hindi kasama sa nire-raise yung negative. So therefore, nandoon pa rin yung negative. So 3 times 3, that is 9. Tatandaan yan kasi maraming nagkakamali dyan. Again, no? Negative 3 squared is equal to 9, positive 9. Negative 3 squared is equal to negative 9. Kasi dito, kasama sa nire-raise yung negative. Kaya negative 3 times negative, that's positive. Pero ito, ang nire-raise niya lang ay 3. So therefore, kopyahin mo pa rin yung negative sa labas. Okay? That is the case there. Yung naka-square lang yung 3. So, I hope malinaw yun. We copy minus. Now, negative 10 raised to the power of 0. Tandaan ito, any number raised to 0 except 0 is equal to 1. Okay? Kahit ano yan, no? Except sa 0. Let's say x plus y raised to 0, that is equal to 1. So, let's simplify this one. 25 minus 8, that's 17. And this one, 9 plus negative 9, you can uh, actually cancel out yan kasi 0 na yan, eh, no? Then we have minus 1. So our answer is 16. So therefore, our answer is letter A.
Okay, let's have number three. Simplify again. Now, we use PEMDAS or GEMDAS. GEMDAS ang gamitin natin. We can use PEMDAS kasi yung GEMDAS, it refers to grouping. Now, include na kasi dito yung parenthesis. Ibang ginagamit PEMDAS, no? Parenthesis. But actually, you can use GEMDAS. But the same yung meaning niya, no? Grouping or parenthesis, and we also use brace, I mean bracket, then brace. Okay. Next, uh, we have E means exponent. Then we have MD. So, of course, that is multiplication. We have to multiply, then divide. But, you can actually divide muna, then multiply. Pwede itong magkabaliktad. Depende kung ano ang nauna sa kanilang dalawa from left to right. So, hindi ibig sabihin, ay, MD multiplication muna tayo. No. Kung ano ang nauna from left to right, yun ang unahin nyo. And we have AS, okay, or addition and subtraction. The same with MD, kahit anong mauna dyan, pwede. But actually, itong addition and subtraction, kahit ano naman ang unahin mo dyan, walang problema. Pero para hindi tayo malito, from left to right na rin tayo. Okay, so now let's simplify this one. So unahin muna natin yung grouping. So unahin muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So ano ba yung nasa loob ng parenthesis yan? Okay? Now, so... Ano ang uunahin natin? The operations involved are division and multiplication. Unahin ba natin ang multiplication? No. Unahin natin kung ano ang nauna from left to right. Okay? So, negative 12 divide 6, that is negative 2. Saka natin i-times yan sa 5. So, what is negative 2 times 5? That is negative 10. So, at uh, erase na natin, no? Diretsyo na natin, that is negative 10. Okay? And you copy the remaining terms para hindi tayo malito. You can actually write this one as 5 minus 10, no? Pag nin-distribute natin yan, that's minus. So, what is 5 minus 10? That's actually negative 5. So, pwede na nating ediretso ito. This is negative 5. Okay? So, wala na tayong parenthesis. Next. Uh, this operation also signifies multiplication. Okay? Kapag walang operation dito, kung may plus yan, hindi mo pwedeng i-multiply ito. Pero since wala yan, it means multiply natin to. So, that's 3 times negative 5. So, we copy first this one. So, 3 times negative 5, that's negative 15. Okay? Hindi mo basta-basta multiply yan, ano? 2 times negative 15 kasi may operation ka dito. So, ito ay magiging 2. Okay? Magiging plus na ito. Remember that? Okay, you have the same sign magiging positive or magiging plus. Then 15. So what is 2 plus 15? That is 17. Okay? So our answer is letter C. Let's have number 4. Find the value of x in the equation for x minus 3 equals 6x plus 4. Okay, so ang gagawin natin, we combine like terms. Lahat ng the same variable, pagsamahin natin on one side of the equation. Then the Yung sa other side of the equation naman, yung mga walang variable. So, so for x, so meron siyang variable. Now, si, negative, si minus 3, wala naman siyang variable. So, dapat nandito siya. Now, hanap muna tayo ng iba pang may variable, itong 6x. Ililipat natin yun dyan on the left side of the equation. So, magiging minus 6x. Um, usually, ang tawag nila dyan ay transposition. But actually, merong property na ginagamit dyan. Ang tawag dyan, subtraction property of equality. 
nag-minus kasi tayo dito na 6x. So, kung mag-minus ka ng 6x dito, kailangan mag-minus ka ng 6x dito. Ayun. Kaya na-cancel yan. Kaya nawala na siya yung 6x dito. Pero para mas mabilis, transpose natin. Or lipat natin. Kung positive yan, magiging negative or minus. Kung ne negative to, magiging plus. Okay? Then, we copy 4. Then, ito naman si minus 3. Lipat naman natin dito kay 4 na walang, uh, walang variable. So, since that's minus, magiging plus 3. So, ang tawag naman dyan is addition property of equality. Okay? Para mas mabilis, yung minus magiging plus, yung positive magiging minus. Eh, bakit po yung 4 hindi nagpago ang sign? Kasi si 4 ay nasa right side of the equation pa rin. Hindi tayo lumipat sa kabilang side. So, 4x minus 2x, negative 2x, 4 plus 3, that's... 7. Now, to eliminate itong kasama ni x, we divide both sides of the equation kung ano ang numerical coefficient ng x. That is negative 2. So, we cancel out. x now is 7 over negative 2. Or, remember that 7 over negative 2 is equal to negative 7 over 2. Or, that is equal to negative 7 over 2. Yung tatlo na yan, equal lang yan. Kung nasa taas, ah, nasa baba, sa taas, sa gitna, equal lang yan. Or but usually, nilalagay siya sa gitna. Okay? So therefore, our answer is letter C. Okay? But then, since may mga choices naman, ang gawin nyo na lang for solving for x, substitute nyo na lang yan. No, i-substitute nyo yung mga choices dun sa value ng x. Okay? Kapag nag-equal ito, definitely, that is our answer. Let's have number 5. What is the mean of 3 fourth, 1 half, and 3 over 8? So, remember, when you say mean, that is the average. Okay? Average. So, how to solve for the average? We add the numbers. 1 half plus 3 over 8. And after we add, i-divide natin kung ilan sila. So, since sila ay tatlo, so i-divide natin sa 3 mamaya. Okay? But, how to add fractions? Madali lang sana kung parehas ng denominator kasi we just copy the denominator and add the numerators. But in this case, magkaiba sila ng uh, denominator. So, we need to find the LCD. Ano ang LCD ng 4? 2, and 8. That is 8. Now, dun sa mga nalilito kung paano kinukuha yung LCD, this is the same with multiple or the least common multiple. Ano yung mga multiples ng 4? That's 4. That's 8. That's 12. Kasi 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. And so on and so forth. So, ang multiples ng 4 ay 4, 8, 12, and so on and so forth. Now, ano naman ang multiples ng 2? That's 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. And so on and so forth. And the multiples of 8, 8, ano pa, 16, and so on and so forth. Okay, now. Ano yung common sa kanilang tatlo? Yung least common multiple, that is 8. So, LCM is the same with the least common denominator. So, ang LCD niya is 8. Okay? Now, we have now the LCD. Divide natin yan sa denominator. So, 8 divided by 4, that's 2. 2 times 3, that is 6. Copy plus, 8 divided by 2, that's 4, 4 times 1 is 4, 8 divided by 8, that's 1, 1 times 3 is 3. Then we add this, add these 3 numbers, yan i 13 over 8. Okay, now, is it the mean? No, it is only the sum of these 3 fractions, okay? So, i-divide pa natin ngayon yan, ilan ba sila? Tatlo. 
Now, remember, if we multiply fractions, gagawin natin ay magiging times, then find the reciprocal of 3. Kapag ka whole number, meron niyang over 1. So, ang reciprocal niyan ay 1 third. That is how to divide fractions. Okay, ulitin ko, we find the reciprocal of our divisor, then magiging multiplication. So, 13 times 1, that's 13. 8 times 3, that's 24. I think wala ng lowest term yan. So, our answer is letter D. I hope na makatulong ito para sa iyong board exam. Good luck!